Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to be watching Hawkeye Season 1 Episode 6. So this is Christmas. This is the season finale and that makes me sad, that also makes me stressed, um, but it also makes me excited. I have loved every episode of this show. I've loved meeting Kate and getting to know her and I just feel so awful for her after the revelation at the end of the last episode and I just want to get started. So yes, a reminder that as always you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. Let's go. Oh god. I've always done what was told. What I'd expect when there's a death. And you're Ooh. asking for a small fortune. Which oh I god. Tenfold by now. Good so Kate's dad got them into this mess, or were they both already in there? And that's where I draw the line. There are no lines in this business. And that is why I have to leave this business. Eleanor, don't be rash. I want you oh, to know god. that I have been keeping an insurance policy. Eleanor. Copies of everything. Oh, I, I don't think this is safe. On the holidays, I'm gonna give you a. Kingpin will not take this lightly. He's going to react. He's going to do the big way. Clint, this is my mess. No. To clean up. You should go home. You should be with your family. You can still make it in time for Christmas. Oh. Kate, you're my partner. Your mess is my mess. I'm not going anywhere until this is finished. Oh, that is the right answer, but it's also just everything. I don't think that sentence even made sense, I'm sorry. Oof. Gosh, if they have this kind of a relationship where he became like a surrogate father in a way when hers died, and then for her to turn around and think, he killed my dad. Like a whole batch of way too dangerous trick arrows. <laughs> Way too dangerous. Too dangerous. <laughs> so she can tell what they are. Slowly. We'll get hurt. He will have to make some tough decisions. I like this because he's treating her seriously as though she's capable of this but just making sure she's fully aware of all of her possible repercussions and consequences. That's how you jump from that building even though you can't fly. Even though you don't have superpowers. You inspired her. If they could do that then I didn't have to be scared. I'm so glad she told him. Jack's out of jail already. Nothing faces that guy. So Jack, wielding a sword, hmm. just out of jail. Goodness. I can understand her wanting to leave, but she must know it's not as simple as that. Even if you think it makes sense, like you've more than repaid your debt, you've done years of service, but... And what if they decide to just, I mean, I don't reckon they're just about to shoot her in the head, but I could definitely see a way to punish her. She's trying to leave for her daughter's sake. Oh, Elena. You don't need to kill Clint. You need to talk to him. This may not be the best time. Hi, Mom. Come with me. <sighs> oh goodness. Which is why I'm a little confused. Where you're headed with this? She knows. How could you do this, sweetheart, Kate? Don't worry about it. I have everything under control. You don't. You don't. And you've killed people for him. It's. I can kind of, I do sympathise if she was truly just a terrible, and like a poor woman, like a woman in a terrible position, but... Surprise, surprise. Get down. <sighs> yeah. Elena! Natasha would not want you to kill him. Hey, do not go out there, it's too dangerous. You're the reason it's dangerous out there, Mom. You know? Jack. I am missing something here. You, you're missing a lot of things. I'm so stressed. So it looks like you already lost him. He's in the elevator. <laughs> Out of 65 floors, you think you're just going to magically guess which one he's on? 12th floor. Damn it. Enjoy the party. <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> I love them. Talk to 
him. What are we doing? I mean, it's Christmas Eve. Let's grab a drink, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After. After I go I mean, maybe they just arranged their first date. Who knows? I just really enjoy their dynamic together. Bye. Yep. Tell Clint she's coming. What? Holy shit, Kate. Fucking hell! Oh shit! Ah! Oh, the men are down here. I know it's probably not the best moment right now, but I want to thank you. No, for your advice, what you said. Oh my god! Did it work? Hello, sweetie. Goodbye, you. Fuck. I am so sorry my mom got you put in jail. Are you okay? Never been better. Jesus Christ! Jack! Just some Christmas. Shit, thank God they missed in that narrow hallway. This rope. Oh my God. Oh, they change into their new suits. I love it. I need you to hang on tight. Yeah, yeah, thank uh, Hey, wait. What do you mean? <laughs> get you out of that tree. No, no, don't do anything, Kate. <laughs> you want me to stay on my signal or no? Kate, please don't do anything. <laughs> I love it. I'm just. <laughs> Ridiculous, and I love it. Jesus, how many of them are there? I love her so much. Oh my god, you wore it! Yeah, yes. Oh my god, I look so good. I told you. Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah. Right, listen to me. Yeah. Take these. No way. <laughs> Is it time? It's time. Oh gosh, ready? This is epic, but how do they get out of this? <laughs> I love it! Fuck. I love it so much! What happens to them now? <laughs> I feel scared about that one. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Bloody hell. Whoa. I love that so much. Whoa, he's good. Holy shit. I need to ask you one question. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh, oh God. Did your sister sacrifice herself? She did. She saved the world. You're so pathetic. Elena, he's not lying. <laughs> yep. Don't leave, Eleanor. Come here. Let's talk. <sighs> Fucking hell, yes, Kate. Oh my god! She gave you a chance. She gave you every chance. 
even though you betrayed her father. Okay. Where are you going, big guy? Oh, fuck. She made a choice. Stop lying. Ex Maybe you should try and explain the situation, not that she'd believe it. She's emotional, so she's getting sloppy. <sighs> Lena, this isn't the way. Did she grab the trick arrow that was too dangerous? Oh, wow. The coin flip, the coin flip! Still your mind. You'll see. Okay, you think that you can live your life without consequences, just like your father, but someone has to clean things up. Someone has to take responsibility. Then take responsibility. Is this what heroes do? Yes. Arrest their mothers on Christmas. They arrest murderers. Okay, that was a very brave choice. Love you, mother. You know your daughter's sense of right and wrong, it should make you proud. <sighs> what the fuck? She talked about you all the time. She, <sighs> she loved you. Mm -hmm. And always wanted you safe. You know you miss her, but this won't make it better. If I was there, I could have stopped it. I could have. I could have changed it. Stop her, if you were there, she'd have been doubly more determined that she should be the one. I love her so much. Oh. Uh -huh. Me too. Me too. Don't just become a contract killer again, please. Sometimes family doesn't see eye to eye. Is he finally done with? Cause I'm here for that. Come across somebody. It just makes you better. And that Missy boy, she just outdid herself. <laughs> That's exactly who you mean. Not many people walk away from something like that. You're amazing, my love. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. You too. Is he gonna bring her to Christmas with his family, given that she's not exactly gonna be having a Christmas? Coming. Yeah. Come on, Lucky. Oh, oh, he's called Lucky now. <laughs> oh, this is everything. Heck yeah. Brought home a couple strays. <laughs> this is Kate. Welcome. <laughs> what do you think of Lady Hawk? <laughs> okay. That's terrible. Lady Arrow? No, no. Okay, fine. You know what? Actually, I have an idea. Hawkeye, <laughs> is that his idea? I love this. <laughs> Sorry. This is ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> that was such a fun end, such a fun show. Um, I adored every single time Kate and Clint teamed up. They're fighting together, they're strategizing, just their teamwork was everything. Um, Kate's character is so, I just, I adore her. I think a lot of the new characters were getting such a breath of fresh air in the MCU. And I say that not meaning like, oh, it needed it because I loved everything and I was happy if it could have stayed the way it was. I mean, I do need more diversity, but other than that. Um, but I just really am enjoying this, all these new characters bringing new, new stories and new life and new elements and the way that they get to be part of the pre-existing world is something that I adore about the MCU and I would be 100% fine if it just rumbles on into the end of time. Um, 
and so kind of oh just this i have so much kingpin it seems is done with now um which is a big deal and i'm so proud of kate because she's resourceful you know yes she couldn't beat him in a fight she couldn't beat him one-on-one -on -one, but she had the trick arrows and she had all the different things and she was able to use the coin flip to stop him and save her mum but she showed that she is a true hero because she ensured her mum would be arrested for her crimes because her mum was a criminal. She wanted her safe, but she still wanted her to face justice. And I mean, her mum's very rich. Who knows how much justice she'll face? But I think that is an important step and that shows you just who Kate is and that shows you how strong her heart is, how big her heart is and how true her sense of justice is. It's not like, oh, well, you know, criminals should be in prison, but that's my mum. And she was in a really tough spot because I mean, yeah, God, was she ever in a tough spot? But, you know, I dread to think, what would happen if you were someone like Kingpin was there threatening you and your family and your future but she still did it she still committed crimes and she ought to pay for them and so Kate going forward as a hero she can still you know maintain that I adore her and Yelena so much I love that the new Hawkeye and the new Black Widow um, whether they choose to keep those names or not in the MCU I don't know the, the two of them have the bond so that like when young avengers or new avengers or whatever start forming they will already be the two that have a bond just like the original black widow and hawkeye did i adore the way they were fighting her yelena didn't want to hurt her i mean, was quite yelena was quite aware that she was going to get away at the end of it all but she was just having a good time and when kate asked her for a drink and she was like we could do that afterwards um i just love them so much whatever direction they take them in i enjoy them so much their characters work so well together um the scene between Yelena and Clint, I've been waiting for it, for him to talk to her. And, you know, if he tried to explain everything, it would take, you know, they'd have had to go get, a, you know, sit down on a bench and sit, talk for three hours because it's a complicated movie, a um, series of events. But I think the fact that, you know, to begin with, the idea that Natasha chose to die, that she chose to leave her would be a hard thing to deal with. And you kind of... It's also it's easier when there is a bad guy that you can hate because he killed my sister. That is a much easier emotion to deal with than all of the complex emotions with understanding that Natasha sacrificed herself so that you could live, so that everybody could live. She chose herself because she cared about Clint. She picked herself over him to die. And there are so many, a, war, a broader range of emotions there. But I think, I just, I love the way she ultimately, hearing the whistle, hearing her... Oh, just hearing that tune and realising that Natasha had spoken about her, had told him about her, and the fact that she had done that showed how much Clint meant to her, and that she would have sacrificed herself for him, she would have sacrificed herself for anybody. I think Clint sort of saying, you know, I don't deserve to live over her, and saying, like, I fought her for her, but she was better than me, rung true for her as well, and how determined her sister was, and when you love someone as much as she loved Natasha, you have to admit, you have to appreciate it if they sacrifice themselves, why they did it, how they did it, and what it means. And don't take that for granted by turning it into something that was done to her or, you know, turning her into a victim in the situation when she had a lot of power. I do wonder what's going to happen next for Yelena. Like I've said a couple of times, I don't love that she's become like a killer for hire. Um, I don't trust Lady V or whatever her name is that she works for. But I also can totally understand how someone in Yelena's position doesn't exactly have many options or much of an ability to integrate into society. That's why I think ultimately were she to become sort of like Natasha working for a S.H.I.E.L.D.-esque organisation or working, you know, with Hawkeye or whatever, that could be a much better way for her to only kill, which she absolutely has to, like in a battle, and to work with good guys rather than working for people for hire because, you know, they agreed for her to go and try and kill Clint. Now, I mean... Ideally, they wanted her to kill Clint, and obviously she was capable of it. But I think at the end of the... Like, it's going to be interesting when she... Will, is she going to go back and say, oh, yeah, the person that hired me is now arrested, they can't pay, or, you know, I chose not to. Is she a valuable enough asset that they'll let it slide, or is she kind of going to walk away from that organisation too? We'll find out all of these answers the next time we see her, whether it's in another Marvel show or in a movie. But I'm just excited to see her again, and I want to know what's happening to her. I just want her to be happy and... I don't think Natasha would be happy thinking that her little sister was still a contract killer. I think she'd want something better for her. You know, were she a contract killer literally only killing evil men, which maybe she is and she did think Clint was evil, so maybe that is who she's killing. I would still not like it, but I would understand it more or be more like, okay, I can kind of get with your skill set and your life experience why you ended up there. I adore the LARPers. I love that they weren't just the punchline. You know, yeah, at times they were funny, but they were heroes and they helped save the day and I love Jack and his swords turned out to just be a weird weird man um 
and how even when he knew Eleanor betrayed him he still wanted to try and find her to make sure she was safe. I'm still just in awe of Kate, of her skill, of her determination to this idea that she had when she was a kid. It made her feel safe and strong and you know I feel like her first real experience has been pretty brutal with you know kidnappings and fights against top league bad guys and her own mother being revealed to be a bad guy and her putting her away, her doing the right thing. You know, this is this what heroes do? S arrest their mothers on Christmas? Well, if their mothers are criminals, then yes, what was she supposed to do? Say, oh mum, by the way, I've called the police and they're gonna come get you on Boxing Day. Ridiculous, but I'm just so proud of Kate because I can't even imagine. I mean, I know what it's like when a parent falls in your eyes or when a parent stops being who you thought they were or you realize that they're pretty shit. And I think for her as well, realizing her dad owed money to him, that kind of alters the memory she'll have of him, that her dad was ever involved with that guy, even if it was just loans and whatnot, and you know, getting in over his head. But just, yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting going forward how Kate's life, where she goes and how things are shaped. You know, is she gonna lose all the money that she's got with her mum being in jail? Is it gonna be like seized or whatever, like assets get seized? Or is she still going to have access to all the money? So I think being rich helps with being a superhero vigilante because you can afford things like tech suits and costumes, uh, costumes, like the suits for their for the LARP costumes and for um, her suit and arrows and all that kind of thing. But I, I oh, my favourite part of this entire episode, I'm a little sad Pizza Dog's called Lucky now, but it's a much better name. My favourite part was that he brought her home for Christmas and that like, you know, he truly meant it when she said he was his partner. And I do think like that, you know, probably Clint is, when at the ending when he went, I've got a better name and it cut to Hawkeye, I do think that potentially, I would like another season of this show so I kind of hope we get that, but ultimately I think it's not going to be too long before he fully passes the mantle to her so he can be with his family. Although I do then think if there were like a end game level threat he would have to come out of retirement because it's that big a deal, but you will see. I just, her being part of the family, part of the team, you know, she, he, they have that relationship that she can go to him for advice. If she's stuck with a difficult problem, he can be like a mentor figure to her and that's so important. Um, one thing that I want so badly is for her and Peter Parker to be on screen together. Now I have not seen Far From Home, I mean I know she's not in it, I have not seen Far From Home, do not spoil a thing. If you spoil a thing I will block you and okay I won't be able to do anything else but I, I will hate you forever. Um, but just the idea of those two on screen together and like with Yelena as well, the chaotic energy would be peak. Um, I don't feel like there's overly much to analyse in this episode, but I loved the scene between Clint and Yelena. I loved the scenes between Yelena and Kate, and I love the scenes between Kate and Clint. Basically, Yelena and Kate are amazing, and I love them. Um, oh, just imagining them getting with those three, and um, like Shang-Chi and Katie, and just the absolute chaos that this new generation could bring would be everything. Um, I just, I love this show, I love musicals. This show was so good because it, it covered hard issues, it covered gr like dark things like the Ronin's past or, you know, what happened to Natasha and her mum being evil or whatever, but it overall had such a light, optimistic feel. I think a lot of that comes down to Kate, her personality, her morals and her ideologies, and I just absolutely adored it. Reminder that, as always, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, and thank you so much for watching.